hey guys welcome back to my channel and hope you guys are doing good so today we're going to have a look at the KTM Duke 390 and why you should not or you know what are bad things about this bike and which might be a deal breaker for some people but that's not a big deal breaker but yeah you know some people might have that so first of all let me first switch on the bike okay first is the price um, it is a bit costly but with what you get all the features I feel it's good enough so I bought this bike for 2 lakh 65 uh, rupees which is good enough for all the features and the power that you get it but for some people it's quite uh, you know costly so you can go for the 250 it's, it has um, not that greater top speed but it has the same power as you know that you know it's a light bike it has a good power to weight ratio so 250 also is a good deal wherein you can save around 65,000 uh, what else the vibration a lot of vibration guys if you're going for a long ride uh, the, the foot pegs vibrate a lot if uh, you know you're not wearing a nice boot it will you know irritate you a lot so yeah you have to look at that the second thing that I feel is not you know up to this mark or I've, I've been using bullet uh, Royal Enfield which is a 350cc I know I'm not I'm not trying to compare those two bikes but this has a lot of heating issues uh, yes it heats up a lot um, if you're not wearing a jeans or a trouser and like me right now as you're wearing a short uh, short pant I mean because I'm roaming uh, within my area so I, I didn't want to wear a jeans but it does heat up a lot only on your left side I don't know because of let me show you the silence uh, as you can see the silencer pipe is right over here I hope you can see that yeah it's right over here so it heats up so much that your calf area will start burning a lot along with that when your foot is resting over here your toes and your leg will heat up a lot so for a long ride I would recommend wear a proper shoe and a jeans but when you're on a highway it won't even feel because but when you're in you know stop and go traffic it will hurt a lot it will burn a lot so keep that in mind and before you're going for a long ride what else okay um, this is a very small thing but uh, during rains as you can see this front mud guard there's a lot of uh, dirt splashing Th this is the one, one reason why I did not wash the bike as you can see here there's a lot of mud a lot of mud so there should have been something I mean I don't know why it's coming towards this side when the tire is turning the opposite side so it should not do that I'm not quite sure why it's happening uh, what's this oh, okay other than this I don't see any issues that you shouldn't get go for this bike it's a beautiful bike I really love it it sounds great it has a good power to weight ratio and it's scary so guys thank you for watching till then you take care bye bye and don't forget to like subscribe and comment on my video bye bye